everybody, oh, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I actually have a new guest with me. Maybe a regular? Who knows at this fucking point? This is my good old friend, Raekwon, from high school. Hi, guys. Yeah, he joined our live stream, so you know what? I forced him to sit down and read fanfiction with me. He said yes. He's totally not being here against his will. He's, he's all good. <laughs> I'm already chained up, just, just stuck here staring at the screen. Yeah. Bro. It's, it's all good, man. Robot you just gotta read the words. <laughs> and, and, and you get to see the light of day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, be because this is Raekwon's first time being here, I gave him a couple of options. I mean, the sky was the fucking limit with this, as long as it wasn't like too fucking raunchy and whatnot. <laughs> Trust me, I've read some shit on here. I know, I know my limits. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. The limits are bad writing. <laughs> and um All right, so I we, we uh we're both into One Piece. So I gave him like three suggestions of like I found an author that I like and they have a bunch of books written. So I gave him a bunch of characters and he chose the one that I hate the fucking most. <laughs> Bill Flamingo is the best one. What are you talking about? I He's the best character. I hate this man so much. <laughs> To put it in a rec retrospective, I just got done recording with Jolene, and we read a Corazon fanfiction, and I was like, oh, guess what I gotta read? And they're like, what? And I'm like, I gotta read Doflamingo, X-Reader, and they're like, oh, tell me how that is. Tell me if you're, you want to go, like, KYX yourself <laughs> afterwards. And I'm like, I will. I probably will. <laughs> Hold up, before, why do you not like Doflamingo? Do you really He's like ask? the perfect- Yeah, yeah. His list of crimes. <laughs> this man is a he didn't criminal. Do anything wrong. What do you mean? I don't think he did. Oh my god. I think he's a normal character. This is some fucking delusional ass shit, man. <laughs> You're like, no, he baby girl. He's he does he would never hurt anyone. Meanwhile, he's committing war crimes. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Nobody died. What do you mean no one died? What about Corazon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this book is from an. Is from an author that I, we read before on the channel, the the Lux reader. It was pretty good. I read that one with Jolien. So I'm I'm putting my tr I'm in the hands of this trusted author. I trust them that they won't. I don't know. Make me want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's called White and Feathers, which and I quote this: the story of how a successful veneer who thought had who thought he had it all found what he was missing so much. I do not own any of the characters in this story. Fascinating. <laughs> and then, uh, we, we didn't really fill out anything. Uh, the only thing that we filled out is our name is Louie for this story. We'll come up with the rest as we go on, but I don't think we really need Louie's last name or hair length or color and all that. It's fine. <laughs> we'll make it up as we go. I, I got the POV replacer. It's all good. All right, chapter one. I think these these are decently length. All right. All right. I have my quarter with me. All right. Do you want to be heads or tails? Tails. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have done this in the dark. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it's heads. All right. I'm reading first. All right, chapter one. Another opera night. Boring, stupid, he thought. It's not that he didn't like it, it's just that he preferred being somewhere else. But even if he wanted to, he needed to be there. Important people go there all the time. The more connections to them he had, the better. Still, he didn't help but to ask himself, why why did they enjoy this so much? Why would they go every Friday night to this pathetic place to see the same type of thing? Sometimes, even the same one. He was not not an opera person. He preferred big parties, races, and something that would make him feel more alive. Yeah, this guy doesn't look like the type to enjoy musical theater. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the way he's dressed normally. He doesn't look like the type to do that. <laughs> he looks like a partier. Yeah. Doflamingo looked at his expensive clock. It was already past ten, and the opera was still going on. In annoyance, he looked around. There was no one he had spoken to. 
Oh wait, there was no one he hadn't spoken with before. Nothing new to win. He stood up and walked outside, almost angry of losing his time there. His strong steps approached the cloak room, where an old man was ready to give him his big designer pink coat. Oh my god. <laughs> he can't go anywhere without his fucking fit. <laughs> In this world, do you think it's like Gucci? Like it's like actual like flamingo feathers? <laughs> oh, more than likely. More than likely. Can you like even a big hunt old robe. flamingos? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I'm pretty sure anything, they're all like extinct or no? Oh, well, they're not extinct. That's not what I'm <laughs> endangered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure. I've never seen one. I mean, I, 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 don't, think think I don't think they're really around us. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'll go ride one if I could. A flamingo? Heck yeah. I don't I'll think he can ride those. <laughs> he can ride an ostrich. I don't think a flamingo can even support a weight of like a small child. And Pokemon they can. Yeah, you're right. What, what was <laughs> I thinking? <laughs> Leaving already? A woman said. Though flamingo didn't bother to look, already knowing it's the owner in that annoying tone. If you're leaving already, you, you must know you can always take me home with you. The woman got close to him, now trying to on his shoulder. Go away, Paula. I'm not in the mood. Paula didn't seem to care. She so always slipped her hand to his shirt. Wow, this is getting seductive. I'm, I'm a <laughs> child of God. <laughs> you know, I can always put you in the right mood, she said seductively. But he, but he stopped her by grabbing her wrist and pushing her away. Go away, he said again, this time more serious, and looking at her. He let go of her wrist and walked away more annoyed than before. Paula tried to follow him, but was cut short by the old man in the cloakroom. Leave the man alone, darling. Your husband must be looking for you, he said with a grin on his face. Paula gave him a disgusted stare and walked away, not with not saying a word. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> go for well, me. already. Not, not even, not even a whole page into it. Someone's yeah. already trying to cheat and do some crazy. Yeah, the, the POV crazy One Piece fans. <laughs> Doofing was just about to get home when his cell phone started ringing. He took it out of his pocket to see who was calling. Oh, I haven't seen these characters in a while, so I'm gonna butcher every single name. <laughs> Dominante? Diamante. <laughs> Okay, sure. Yeah, Dominic. I, I don't know. Diamante? Diam I, oh, yeah, Diamante. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he hesitated. Usually when he called, something wrong had happened. He didn't like that, and it, he was not in the mood to solve a thing. Still, he answered. What do you want, Diamante? It was clear in his voice that he was not in a good mood. Fortunately for him, he didn't bring any bad news. Oh wait, is this the slime guy? I'm trying to remember what the fuck this this little goober looked like. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I don't he, remember. He looked like he's made out of, like, goo. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Do look him up. <laughs> Dofi, I'm so glad you answered. I thought you might be at the opera. Dofmingo didn't answer. Anyway, I was thinking that if you hadn't had dinner already, I found something that you'd find interesting. Though Mingo could feel a smile on Diamante's face. After all, maybe the night could be more exciting. After all, Diamante had a good eye for stuff, and he had never disappointed Do Flamingo. Where? It's a good restaurant. It's called Carpa. It's in downtown near the club you like. He tried to think about the restaurant, but couldn't recall seeing it before. I'm on my way, he said, hanging up the phone. Take me to Carpa, he ordered to his driver, who just nodded and began to drive in the opposite direction of his house. He sighted looking at the familiar road, turning into the busy downtown that he tended to avoid. It didn't take long for him to arrive at the busy fancy restaurant. Uh, did you find out what this guy looked like? <laughs> oh yeah, Is I see a picture of him being like, diamond like, some soup, some big black guy. What? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna have to yeah, look I, this I, guy up. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, there's two different pictures, or there's some like super, or some white guy with some long hair. I don't know. Diamante. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> oh no, I see a white guy with a, with a cane and long hair. 
Uh, fuck. I'm so uh, confused. Dante, one piece. Oh, okay. It's this tall ass white dude that looks like he has okay. the sun as the hair. Okay. I was thinking that. I thought I it was that snot dude that has like the little clover staff. I was definitely looking at the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> he walked out of the car. Some people turned to see him. His fancy attire that screamed expensive everywhere. His strong pose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the leg spread doing that stupid ass walk. <laughs> His strong pose and intimidating look called everyone's attention. Pathetic, he thought. He hated people like that. Daring to look at him and tried to look somewhere else. Oh, was trying to look for something wrong with him. He despised them. He was clearly over. He was clearly over them and still needed to walk in, walk in the same street. Do you have a reservation? A woman said at the front. He could cry. Whoa. <laughs> like. <laughs> in what kind of way? Like, cry. <laughs> I think with his bare hands. Oh. Hopefully. <laughs> he could crush her right there for just asking him such a thing. If only she knew who he was. He probably. She'd probably kneel and forgive him and to get inside such a pathetic place. He's with me. Called. Diamante from the table near the window. The girl gave him entrance and guided him towards Diamante, leaving a menu on the table for him. She walked away without noticing a disgusted look on Doflamingo's face. I'm glad to see you, Dofi. Diamante said, trying to distract him. Oh, I already ordered the best of the best. How did you find this place? Doflamingo asked, looking around. It was clearly elegant, but modern. But for what he could see different types of people coming around here, they didn't seem rich or powerful. Yet everyone here looked extravagant. A client of yours told me about the place. You could do business here. Diamante pointed at the wall full of wine bottles. They sell and serve really good wine. Maybe they can sell ours. As they spoke to a waitress with a bunch of plates, walked over to their table. I'm not interested in doing business with small restaurants, Doflamingo said, as he was being served a nice piece of beef with small- what the fuck? <laughs> a nice <laughs> piece of beef with a small soup next to it. Is this like like Panera, where they, we get like a little small piece of meat in like a shit soup, and they're like, Alright, so that's gonna be $50, Captain <laughs> Car? <laughs> Sounds like someplace super expensive. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. If- if you want to do the business, it will be in your hands. Excuse me, sir, can I get you a drink? Said the waitress. Doflamingo turned to see a girl with all oh, I didn't fill this out. Uh, <laughs> how long do you want Louis' hair to be? <laughs> I'd say she's bald. Bald? <laughs> oh, with bald hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We we can do like short, we can do short, short. blonde, like it's just yeah, blonde enough to look like we're bald <laughs> from a glance. Short blonde hair and beautiful, uh, I guess blue, because we're blonde, and beautiful blue eyes smiling at him gently. Serve me your best bottle, he said in a calm voice, like if her smile helped him relax, but he dismissed her pretty quickly. I'll take full responsibility of this place, Diamante said, crossing his leg. Then a second later, the waitress came back holding a fancy bottle and began serving carefully with... And with ex... Wait, well, fuck. And with experience, Doflamingo's glass. I forgot to mention, this. the author, it, the English is not their first language, but that's not that's not a bad thing. It's just sometimes I, the, the things will be fucked up. <laughs> I read into this a little bit. I was Some of the words were like, what, what's going on? I, could, I couldn't understand so confused. Hey, if I learn anything from fan fiction, if English is not their first language, expect the book to be a banger, alright? Hey, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> what bottle is this one? Doflamingo asked, just as he sipped a bit of his wine glass. It was good. Good enough that he had to ask. It was surely a... a what? <laughs> a Cabernet? A Cabernet? I Cabernet or something. A Cabernet. But from where? Oh, I can't pronounce this. <laughs> it's, an, it's an old. 
Olympia, Cabernet, Savinon, Somia County. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that is. I never heard of it. It's part of her special collection. <laughs> she said, showing the bottle. I'll be back in a moment to see if you need anything else. She spoke as she walked away, back, leaving the delicate bottle on the table. Maybe serving here isn't a bad idea, Doflamingo said. If there are this kind of wine here, it means that someone is buying them, Doflamingo smiled. It's a great opportunity to open our section for more people, and we can still lead the best for our biggest clients. Maybe even... Doflamingo was not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Behind Diamante, the waitress was sitting an elderly couple. They seemed to know her and how they greeted her. Oh, by how they greeted fuck. She looked comfortable around them, like they were her like they were family. But judging by looks, they didn't seem to be family. Dofi? What? Should we take the owner? Oh wait, should we take the owner to the vineyard? The uh, Diamante asked, noticing Doflamingo was distracted. You know, a little chit chat showing up. You know, a little chit chat showing off a little. Make him feel important. I give him two hours before he signs a contract with us. If you think it's. If that's the best way, fuck. If you think that's the best way, you are free to do it. Just call me when you're. When you're doing this, he said, peeking a little behind Diamante's back to see her just one more time before their eyes met for a second. I love the comments on here. <laughs> Material girl. Yeah. I can tell by this paragraph alone that I'm gonna be up all night. <laughs> I'm gonna be up all night under the covers reading this. <laughs> Gotta love the 3 a.m. Wattpad reading. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's all you. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this Harvey. crap. <laughs> it was weird for Doflamingo to be in his office. He'll usually let his work to his, to his subordinate. Let this work. What the? Okay, he'll usually let this work to his subordinates. And he'll concentrate on bigger things. But lately, a fancy hotel franchise requested a partnership with his wine branch, so he was forced to start negotiations. He had avoided them visiting by setting up a video chat meeting, and luckily for him, they had reached an agreement just that day. He was finishing some mandatory paperwork when he got a call from his receptionist. Dofi! Diamante is here with a Carba restaurant manager and some of his employees. Doflamingo snapped out of his work, just letting you know. Thank you, Monet said Doflamingo. Hanging the phone. He he had just got that place out of his head, and that day Diamante had to bring them when he was there. So it was not a big deal, but he didn't like interaction with lower people. They had They had to knew their place, still he didn't feel like being there. He closed his laptop, not before he looked at the hour. It was 2.37. Maybe he could stop at a fancy restaurant to enjoy a nice dinner with a nice glass of wine and not have time for himself. Even though he was like that most of the time, Doflamingo grabbed important papers and placed them in a folder before grabbing his coat to leave his office. As he approached the door, he could hear someone behind it having a conversation, but he could care less. He couldn't care less. He opened to see Monet and Diamante speaking to a group of people who Doflamingo assumed were from the restaurant. He was about to walk past them when Monet spoke. Oh snap, I don't know how to say Doflamingo's name. Uh, Don... <laughs> no. Don Teote? Don Teote, Don I think. Hi, this is Don, Don Teote Doflamingo. The owner Doflamingo gave Monet a despiteful look before turning to the group of people. An old man approached him with a smile on his face. It is nice to meet you, Mr. Don Quixote. I'm Gail Velasquez, owner of the Carpa. He offered his hand, but Doflamingo ignored it. Still, the man kept a smile on his face. It was a pleasure to sell your wine in our establishment. I hope my associate is treating you well enough, Doflamingo. Could be a mean, selfish, and maybe egocentric, but he was, before all that, a good host. If you haven't already, you can visit our plantation and see how we prepare our most exquisite bottles. Oh, these guys are trying to make business. That's all it is. Yeah, it's all business. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. He doesn't touch the poor. <laughs> Isn't, when is somebody gonna? When is somebody gonna die? When's we were. We die? were. <laughs> I, don't, I thought someone was gonna die in this. No. That's, no. 
That's why I chose this character. <laughs> we were about to head there. We're just waiting for another of my employees. He pointed out at the corner. Oh, just in time, he said. As a familiar face appeared, the waitress. Uh, Del Flamingo was intrigued. Why would the owner of the place bring over, bring one of his waitresses there? Why her? He was impressed that she looked decent, not fancy, not for more fancy, just decent for a business meeting. Yet she looked confident and stood out compared to his colleagues. And without noticing, he found himself staring at her. But why? If you're all ready, then shall we go? Diamante said, opening the door for them as they all began walking away. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Don Quixote. I hope we'll meet again, said Mr. Velasquez, walking away with the crowd. None nonsense. As the owner, I'll be pleased to show you the plant show you the plantation myself, said Del Flamingo with a deep voice. He was curious and dinner could wait. Once at the plantations once at the Do plantations, Del Flamingo asked his collectors and the other employees to show the group of people the place as he slowly made his way to the owner again to talk a little and figure some things out that were bugging his mind. He had an open bottle to share with him and a, and a small key as I was in the middle of the plantation. I found it amazing, Mr. Velasquez. I'm not the one to judge wine, but I find this amazing, he said, repeating himself. Why do you say so? Doflamingo said as he sipped his own glass. I know little to nothing about wines, if you let me be honest, Mr. Don Quixote. He pointed at his waitress girl, but my employees do. Mostly. Why in? What does that mean? Oh, it's your name, so it was Louie. Oh, Louie. Oh, mostly Louie. <laughs> Bingo. I had struggled with my restaurant until I found the right people. Jordan, my accountant, helped me figure out things. Fig oh, help me figure out things. Oh, man. That sentence is, is butchered. <laughs> Jordan, my accountant, helped me figure things out. Louis, the shelf aspir aspiring, became my main shelf while hiring her waitress. I found my, my wine tester, Louis. Even though his, his question had been answered, his curiosity grew even more. Something like a waitress being an expert of wines was out of place. He thought she might have learned while working, but if she knew that that the type of things beforehand, it meant that she had previous experience of some sorts. It was intriguing to him seeing something that common knowing about something so high level oh man trying to read this is like gonna give me an aneurysm jeez right, just, just sound it out <laughs> <laughs> all right, right louis come, come here you should try this mr glass has said waving enough to to catch the girl's attention who was discussing with one of the plantation workers do you want to see something cool mr don quixote said the man as the girl walked inside the kiosk have my glass on Thank you, Mr. Velasquez. She, she gave a small sip after smelling it. Merlot. Louis turned to Doflamingo, knowing that his boss would not be able to give her the answer. Doflamingo's smile turned whiter as she nodded. Smart girl, said Doflamingo. Can you tell me what type of wine by taste and smell? She nodded, sipping a little bit more. What a curious ability. Sometimes I can't even tell myself. I put a lot of attention in and this stuff, simple details of the smell and taste differ differentiate this merlot from other soft fruity wines she said it so confident yet dozing off as she thought about it she gave back the glass it's it pretty good we look forward to sell these bottles in our business she gave doflamingo that smile like she was still working as a waitress it looked very it looked sincere yet forced dofi diamante approached the scene phone in hand with a serious expression in his face doflamingo could tell that something wasn't right the barn is calling you. Something went wrong with the juice. Doflamingo shut, stood up. Stud. Okay. Don't know what that means. A stud. So, all right. <laughs> like, he, like he got what? up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the stud is crazy. I never. All right. Excuse me. I need to solve a problem. Doflamingo looked at the girl again. I hope you got to enjoy your visit. And Doflamingo looked at, at Louis. Like expecting something. Oh, he's going to clap cheeks. <laughs> oh shit, we didn't pick out a last name. What's your uh -oh. last name, baby? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. I don't. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Louis Lee. Because I'm so smart like that. <laughs> Alright. 
Alright, Louie Lee, she said, presenting herself. Little did she know, she had just fell into Del Flamingo's trap. Miss Lee, if you're interested, you're always welcome to my wine tasting parties. He gave her a devilish smile to make her nervous. He liked playing easy praise. Or like having easy praise. Oh my god. Oh, that's a good manipulation tactic. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, after I got injured, my eyes are like, trying to read is, is impossible. But oh, I'm, gotcha. I'm trying. Do you wear glasses or contacts? I have glasses, but oh, it doesn't really help that much. Gotcha. But she didn't smile back. Her gentle face turned into a serious one. Unreadable, she looked right into his eyes, even though he had his sunglasses on. Oh, those sunglasses he always wears with a point? Fucking those... sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She seemed like she was thinking for a moment before actually answering Doflamingo. I appreciate the offer, but I have to decline. It was the only thing she said. Doflamingo stood there a couple seconds before walking away following Diamante. Oh, that that stood is crazy. I'm not, that is wild. <laughs> Bitch. How does she dare to reject my invitation? He was mad. He was a powerful man. He was good looking and was offering something. He was sure she would like to get to get her. He was sure she would like to get her. Okay. It was just going to be a little toy for a moment, but she didn't care about that. A waitress, a fucking waitress, that's a wine expert. Why is she a waitress anyway? Why is she a waitress? Then something clicked in his mind, like something that wasn't right. He grew even more curious about the, about that. Blonde girl. <laughs> Blonde girl, oh man. So HC is like your hairstyle? Yeah, hair color. Hair color, okay, yep. okay. I'm gonna have to learn this. This is like, we should have had like a, a practice run. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Here, let me add in the fucking L N uh, Lee. All right, cool. All right, chapter three. All right. <laughs> Saturday were your favorite days. Not because you could wake up late. You never could. The sunshine entered your window, would never let you, and you liked it that way. You like Saturdays because you'd go around, go walk around the plaza until you'd reach the coffee shop that you loved. You usually, spent hours there until you realized you were late and ran to, uh, fuck, uh, Carpa, yeah, for your shift. And that's how your days were so far. You had arrived just on time to start working. Louis, uh, Jordan grabbed her by the shoulder. He was the accountant, but always the person that held everything together there. Everyone there called him the maze. For some reason. <laughs> the maze. What is it? Alright. There's probably some hitting me later. I don't know. <laughs> Can I help you, Jordan? You turn to see him trying to pull off the nicest smile you could. Usually, if he wanted to talk, he would uh, complain about you, other employees, or the help, the owner itself. The wine company that we're currently having a deal with wants you to taste their wine collection. Louis smile frowned. Please go. It'd be, it would give a good face for a restaurant. The tension room was heavy. Jordan understood her situation, yet he thought it would be the big step for the restaurant. No, and don't ask me again. You walked away, putting on your apron in place while walking to the front door to receive more clients. It was stopped by your colleague, like Laura. Laura, yeah, yeah I'm so fucking smart. Louie, a man has been asking for you to attend him. Can you deal with him? Laura pointed at the table in the corner of the restaurant. You saw the owner of the wine company. You choked on your bad luck. He's been waiting for a half an hour. He doesn't want anyone else for a waitress. I'll take it. You took one of the menus and walked to the guy. Please let this guy give give me a, big, a good tip. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm not... I mean, maybe... <laughs> You mumble to yourself. <laughs> just... I don't know. Sometimes I don't tip, so I can't really say. Yeah. What <laughs> bad person? You gotta tip the waitresses, man. They Sometimes pay I like do. Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a very rare occasion. Uh, uh, you mumble to yourself as you sit in front of the big man who is hungrily waiting for you. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Carpa. Is there? Some, would you want something to drink? Oh, Mingo's smile couldn't be wider. I don't think I ordered my food already. You didn't expect that. But you were quick and pulled out a small notebook and pen. I'll have this. I'll have salmon. What kind of, sir? 
You looked at him. The butter, the buttercream one or the garlic sauce? The buttercream. And bring me a good, well, bleh, give me a good bottle. You wasted no time on writing everything down. I'll be, I'll be here f with your bottle for in a while. You walked away, trying not to look back. You can feel his gaze behind your back as you walked to the kitchen. You were quick, you were quickly to leave the order on the kitchen and walked into the wine room and picked out a bottle of a uh, Pinot Noir. Cool. Pinot I Noir. I don't know what the fuck that is. I was like, cool, that's great. <laughs> another wine. You said bumped into another one of her colleagues who struggled to pick a bottle for her table. What is it? A classic spaghetti. You stretch your arm and reach the bottle of Zinfundel, whatever the fuck that is, and handed it to her. Thank you so much, she walked away, leaving you in the room alone. You looked at all the bottles, dozing off for a moment. Your bottle, sir. You poured the bottle in, into the wine glass and placed it on ice. Your food is almost ready. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. You regretted asking. <laughs> Can you sit, please? You hesitated. Something was off about him. Please. I promise I won't bite. Something tells me that that's a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> Still, something made easy you bait. Yeah. Still, something made you sit. Maybe your curiosity, or, or thinking he might give you a big tip. You rooted for a second option. Oh, you rooted for a second option. My bad. It has come to my attention that you will not accept my invitation to taste our bottles. Neither, neither my wine tastes in gala. You kept your mouth shut. You had nothing to explain to him. You barely knew him. A person like you shouldn't waste your potential. Do you call... Do you call... Wait, what do you call potential ta tasting wine? You cross your arms. Look, it's nothing against you. I just don't like the kind of people surrounding those events. Hmm. Suspicious. What? Yeah. That's weird. That's suspicious. Who said we needed people? He smirked. We can just... We can be just the both of us, my bottles, and my employees. He was twisting everything, and he knew that what he was doing. He kept his gaze on her for a long amount of time, making her feel tempted to accept, but he was not going to plea. I need to get your food, sir. You, you stood and walked away. The pressure he gave you was overwhelming. Why would he want you to be there? You ever th thought this wine thing would cause, would cause you trouble? By that point in your life, it was all in the past for you. <laughs> Our past demons, I guess. Yeah, Tasting what, what, ha <laughs> what happened to make her not want to do it? Yeah, poor Louie, I guess. <laughs> As you reached the kitchen, you saw the plate for the man already there and took it without hesitation. But when the time came to get it out of the kitchen, everything was just not working. What? Why did he make you feel so trapped? Was it, was it his intense gaze, his sadistic smile, or just his potent aura? Maybe it was all in your mind. And he was just amazed by that gift of sorts that you had? <laughs> what the oh, I wonder what this is going to end up like. How is this going to end? I'm confused. Not good. Louis, <laughs> yeah. Louie, over that plate already. We don't want any cold food complaints. Said one of the chefs, who couldn't help but hurry you up after seeing you not move at all in front of the door. Thank you, he said, after you began to walk out. To Dopamine's surprise, you walk back as confident as a lion, like if some something had suddenly changed about you that made you feel more empowered. You walked it Your walk was confident and, and ensured as you approached his lonely table and left his plate of salmon. When's the wine thing? Dolphingo's smile showed how satisfied he was. Not the gala thing, the, the wine and employees and stuff. Tomorrow at 7, he crossed his legs with a smirk on his face. His plan had worked just as he wanted it to. It was a game of hunter and prey after all, and he knew how to play the hunter pretty well. I think you know how to get to the vineyard, but if you want to ride, I can always... I don't know the way, you said, cutting him, cutting him <coughs> off half sentence. 
you you knew he was test teasing you, but you fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you knew he was teasing you, but you were not ha taking it. You were doing this for the restaurant. Enjoy your meal, sir. God, I really hope he would. He gives me a nice tip, or at least a decent enough one. You walked away to attend more clients, trying to avoid the table as much as you could, but mostly avoiding turning to see him because deep inside of you, you knew he was still looking at you. <laughs> this guy's a stalker. The, the, the top comment is funny. He's just desperate. <laughs> yeah, bro's all rich and powerful, but he can't get a waitress to sleep with him. Damn. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Chapter 4. It, it was almost time. Doflamingo could almost taste his victory, yet he felt kind of disappointed that his little game was almost over. These little games he had made him made his boring time somehow more entertaining. Stealing lovers, playing with mistresses, or getting whatever girl he wished. Oh yes, that was all about desperation. Sometimes the challenge was interesting. Girls playing hard to get was always something he enjoyed because he would always get them at the end. And that made him feel powerful. Sometimes it would go, it would go wrong, <laughs> like with Paula, wife of a, of a successful hotel owner, sounded exquisite for him. So he gave it a try, just as always. He had won her, but she wouldn't let go. Just like now, she was outside his house waiting for him, in her argu arguable costume to hide herself. It was only a scarf, a hat, and some sunglasses. Huh? What what else was she wearing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a bush. <laughs> it's like Fortnite or something. Doflamingo had already left his house to get <laughs> to his wine plantation when the gatekeeper of his house called him to tell him how Paula had tried to get in again. He could hear Paula screaming to the gatekeeper to let her in. He had no time or interest in this, but if she entered the house, it would be such a trouble to get her out. Call the police if she doesn't want to leave. Doflamingo, hang the phone. He didn't have the time to deal with her right now as he just... As he was just arriving to his plantation. Wait, can't he just kill her with his fruit? With his devil fruit? Why call the police? Oh, it, it's this is a modern, so they don't have devil fruits. Oh, oh, okay. I was, yeah. Right. yeah, can you just like <laughs> just snap her with the string? <laughs> yeah. Is everything all settled up? Doflamingo asked Monique, who had been in charge to play everything together for his little setup for that night. Just as you wish, Monique said as he sat in one of the chairs. In the kiosk, the romantic kiosk had always been a way to get his own, to get his win for Doflamingo and his most challenging players. And with the excuse for the wine tasting, she was already about to fall. We'll leave whenever you, you want us to. Perfect. She looked at his phone. She was already there, and his employees were bringing her there. Dofi, Monique, cross your legs. Why her? Isn't she the waitress or something like that? Dear, have you ever hunt? Doflamingo served himself some wine, and going for a deer is as challenging as it, and exciting as going for sneaky hair. You get the same satisfaction. Doflamingo smiled mis mischievously as he saw some employees getting in the kiosk with with Louis. Wait, well, that's her name, right? Louis? That's <laughs> long behind. But his smile turned a little when he saw her outfit was barely appropriate for what he had planned. Mr. Don Quixote, thank you for the invitation," she said, giving her, giving him her hand to shake. This was going to be harder th that he had expected it to be. This was even more challenging. Call me, call me Doflamingo, please. I don't expect formalities today. He he instead took her hand and kissed it, making her frown a little as she cursed herself for being there. She felt so awkward now. Even the employees looked at looked better dressed than her. I'm sorry for my looks. I thought it would would be not that formal. She looked at Monique, who she had seen before. She looked so distinguished. Oh, my eyes are fucking killing me. Do you, do you want to popcorn sorry. it? Oh, yeah. Heck, heck, yeah. Okay. Let me get my other glasses. I'll be right back. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Don't be sorry. I should have been more specific about it. He smiled, offering a glass. Did you enjoy your tip? Louis almost dropped the glass, just remembering how much money he had left. He expected a good tip, but she had only seen that many. Huh, wait, fuck. But she's only seen that mu much money left to pay the meal, not for a tip. Oh, 
I'm, I'm glad she got something good out of dealing with dopamine. <laughs> I thought it was a joke until I saw your note. He did leave a note for everyone to know it was hers. He, had, She had been so embarrassed and now everyone teased her for it because of that. I have your money if you want it back. I think it's too much. Nonsense. Keep it. Dolphmingo served some wine in her glass. Go ahead. If you can get this one, I'll give you more. Oh, he left her glass on the table next to her. I don't want your money, Dolphmingo. She crossed her arms. I accepted your invitation already. There's no need to do this. Dolphmingo didn't know how to respond. This was a new one. Without hesitation, Louis sipped her glass of wine. Mmm. Oh, fuck. Uh, Lorac. Lorac. So uh, do you not drink? No, <laughs> do you not I don't drink wine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. I forget alcohol exists, man. Uh, that's fair. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, I don't go out of my way to buy it and whatnot, and then Heisen always has a. Uh, like a certain amount of liquor, so I don't really need to bring anything when I when I go over. It's all good. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. I love knowing an alcoholic. It's it's so much fun. <laughs> Until you end up flipping your car. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Correct, Monique said. How about we prove the bottle without etiquette? Uh, what the fuck does that mean? Uh, all right. Doflamingo brought a green bottle and served Louis again. No. What kind of wine is this? He said, sitting now crossing his legs. She looked at the glass and smelled it before sipping it a little. Her face showed she did not like it, but she sipped again. Uh, She's been roofied. Well, what does that say? Counties? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, Kenny's for sure. <laughs> she gave the wine glass back. It's not my favorite one, though. Which one is your favorite? Dolphamingo said, those words escaping his mouth involuntarily, like he wanted to know. She smiled sincerely, and Dolphamingo couldn't help but to feel something warm about her smile. My back cheap, she, she said, sitting down. I don't know why I enjoy it so much, though. What's yours? He was confused. That's not how he expected the night to go. He, she wanted to know about him? This was much too confusing. Did she play that way? Cabernet. She chuckled to his confused expression. What's so funny? You look like the Cabernet type. The expensive ones. He grinned. It was true after all. I find that, uh... Pretentious. Yeah, thank you. Pretentious. <laughs> and what can I say? It's too expensive for me. If you want to, we can open a bottle. How many fucking bottles of wine? This, this is all gonna go bad. <laughs> I don't know. This is the millionaire, I guess. I guess. He's like, yeah, it's just a fucking wine. All good. Yeah. I'll buy more. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at him, still with a warm smile. Of course. The chit chat became a good chat. And slowly, the employees left one by one, including Monette. It had been a long time since he actually enjoyed the conversation with someone this much. She was so- she was making him go nuts. This- this gameplay was not working at all. But that night, in that moment, he wasn't thinking about it and- about his game. And slowly, they finished the bottle. She's fucking drunk, dude. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, like, average wine. Like, how much alcohol would be in there? Wine? Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know. I think it's, I think wine's about 17%, maybe. I don't I don't remember. I know it can get you messed up real fast. Really fast. Yeah, I know, I know it's common for people to get a whole bottle of wine and just drink the entire thing. Yeah. People, don't people do that with the box box wines, <laughs> which is like holding it over their head and just like <laughs> dispenser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to be all classy with it, but I don't know. I don't drink wine. Either. Yeah, me either. I still don't get it. She crossed her arms. Why would you go? There's some important people there. It's all business. And call them. Make them feel important. If you just bump into them at the opera, they think that you're looking for them. And 
then you're having fun whatever you do in the opera. She crossed her legs. If you call them, you... If you call them, you establish that you want them and still respect them enough to ask for their time. You know too much about business, do you? Doflamingo chuckled. I don't know why you were a waitress with this potential of yours. You could be my assistant if you wanted to, he said, clearly flirting. I like being a waitress. I, I like the people. I like the person to person talks. She looked at her clock and frowned. It was late and she needed to go home, but she was having a good time here. Go ahead if you need to leave, Doflamingo said. We can continue our chat another time. They didn't know what he was saying, but it had, but it had been there all night. He would say things that would, he would prefer to keep him to himself, like how he felt about his business, what, what things he liked or disliked, or simple stuff about how his day was. Things that he only shared with his close circle. It was easy to talk to her. Too easy. <laughs> She's a spy! <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Another time, she stood up like a date. Doflamingo didn't say anything. He had put himself in a weird place and didn't know what to do. She made him, she made him do stuff he didn't understand. You looked into your small purse and pulled out a card. If you wanted to, here's my number. She offered the card. Doflamingo hesitated before taking it. It's a date then. Wow, we just have our card on, like, our- Do we just have that on hand? Like, a business card? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she's completely- she's all about business, I guess. Yeah. No relationships. Yeah, exactly. I didn't realize this was gonna be a, a love story. I thought it was gonna be, like, murder and death. Nah, this is I mean, this is a- this is an X-Reader, so this is gonna end with a happily ever end after, which I don't really see that for Doflamingo. He deserves to rot in prison, but that's just a uh, me thing. <laughs> I think he's a good guy. Did we watch the same One Piece? Did you see? Yeah, we did. Okay. I, I saw him destroy that city and, and mess everybody up. Yeah, I saw him almost murder several civilians and, and shoot his own brother. I watched it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> no, ain't nothing wrong with that as long as you have a, a motive. Yeah, I, I guess. A reason. Yeah. Doflamingo looked at the... Oh, you ready? Uh, I, I think we're going to call it right there. Alright, alright. How, how are you feeling about this? My eyes are destroyed. I'm but sorry. I think it's it's, inter it's interesting. I'll do it again. You need to like get eye drops next time. Every paragraph, you're like, hold on one second, and just do <laughs> the little drops. <laughs> I do have eye drops. Yeah. I, I didn't put them in today. Oh. Maybe that's why your eyes are all fucked up, man. Nah, they're uh, they got messed up after I got injured, and now they haven't recovered. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I ain't tripping. All right, you know what? I so far. Even though it's a Doflamingo book, I would rate this like a 7.5 out of 10. I'd say it's, a, it's a 4. A f you, you think I this is a 4 out of 10? <laughs> yeah. Wow, we are polar opposites right now on this. Somebody has, if some, nobody dies, what was the point of reading it? Ex you know what? That's so true. Take that for all books. If no one dies, <laughs> what's the point of reading it? <laughs> oh, yeah. What if we die like at the end? <laughs> Honestly, the way this dude's acting, I, I would expect it. Yeah, deserve. I, I would expect it to happen. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I think that girl's gonna break into it, break into his house, and then end up killing her. Damn, like like a Paula situation. She's gonna be the <laughs> next Paula. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Yeah, like I took all your money and, and your fortune is mine now, and you just point blank shoots her without hesitation. The book. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a great turn of events. I'll, I'll enjoy that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining. I highly right. appreciate it, man. And yeah, no problem. Yeah. On fucking screen somewhere is a playlist full of other Wattpad book club readings. I don't know if Rayquan will be more of them. You might just have like a one shot right here, but it's fine. I'll do more. I'll do more. I'll try it. I, I don't want to hurt your eyes too much. I, I didn't realize. <laughs> it's all good. And then on the description is a bunch of links that I'm not going to read out because I'm not streaming. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Rayquan. And we'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>